the streets in many major U.S. cities are empty. There are now more than 366,000 confirmed coronavirus cases across the United States. What a staggering number. There's also more than 10,000 Americans that have lost their lives to this virus. This all according to a New York Times report. And when it comes to the war on the coronavirus, our country is bracing for the peak of the pandemic, meanwhile. And as Tom Casello reports, the president continues to defend the administration's response, while many state governors and an internal government watchdog report are painting a devastating picture. A new definition of our new normal. If back to normal means acting like there never was a coronavirus problem, I, I don't think that's going to happen. If you want to get to pre-coronavirus, you know, that might not ever happen in the sense of the, the fact that the threat is there. As the nation faces a critical stretch in the battle against the coronavirus. The next week, week and a half is going to be a big surge, the professionals tell us. A new Inspector General watchdog report finds hospitals nationwide are facing shortages of critical medical gear. And many states are warning their hospitals will run out of personal protective equipment within days. Meanwhile, many small business owners are struggling to obtain loans promised under the $2 trillion relief package, as both technical glitches and sheer demand have overwhelmed the Small Business Administration. The president signaling the initial $350 billion earmarked for the plan may not be enough. We're going to have to probably add more money to this to save and to keep our small businesses going and to keep the employees of those small businesses working. Also overnight, South Carolina reversing course, now telling its 5 million residents to stay at home or work with few exceptions.